Hi, this is Adam Schulte again. Uh, we're doing our second video. Uh, the first video we did uh, was just kind of about the life skills involved with swimming. Uh, the second video we decided to do uh, was about getting kids introduced to swimming. And this doesn't even necessarily need to be in a pool as great as ours here in Wakanda. Uh, this could be anywhere. Um, one of the first things, you know, that I hear from families uh, when their kids are apprehensive is that, you know, they don't like getting the water poured over them. Uh, something I encourage families to do is a very starting point is just in the bathtub. You know, take, taking a bucket of water, you know, pouring it over their head, or even if that makes your child nervous, you know, dipping your fingers in the water and letting water just sprinkle over their hair, onto their face, uh, down over their nose, because some of that kind of feels um, different than anything else. So if it's taking that water and sprinkling it, or whether it's dumping water over your head, uh, just doing those basic things at home uh, to get them used to the water. Also, just flipping uh, over onto their stomach and over onto the back. Now be careful if they're really young, um, you know, make sure they're not staying there, of course. Um, but make sure, or allow them to just play in the water, flip back and forth from their stomach to their back. Um, will be a great way to uh, just get them used to the water. Now, if you, if you have a bigger pool, um, or even if you have any pool that you can go to, um, some more basic things, um, just allowing them to lay on their back, um, doing back floats, doing stomach floats. It's very hard for student or for students, uh, swimmers, to do a back float. Um, one of the things I like to do is have them put their head on my shoulder. Uh, and if it's mom, dad, or, or, or anybody, if you have them put your, uh, their head on your shoulder and you just kind of gradually lay back in the water, sit down, slouch down in the water, and allow that water to go around their head with that support of your shoulder underneath them while you're holding them up, um, you know, by their back, uh, allows them to feel a lot more comfortable in the water. And then again, you know, allowing them to go from the front to the back, you know, doing their rolls, doing their rolls. And practice standing up, you know, if they're on their back, you know, just have them lean forward, tuck those knees, and just do a quick stand up. Same thing, if they're on their stomach, putting their knees up to their chest, doing those basic things to allow them to stand up, just allows them, allows swimmers to get more and more comfortable in the water. Um, if they're really nervous, just walking them around, you know, take them around, whether it's the shallow area, uh, if you want to hold them, take them in the deep area, just allow them to experiment in the water. Uh, be careful, um, you know, don't, don't make them too nervous, but um, push them a little bit um, and encourage them as much as you can to enjoy swimming.